We greet you all saints in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to believe that the Lord has kept you safe. And that you are doing well by His grace. We like to welcome you to the broadcast today. As we will be sharing from the word of the Lord. Just to get the courage from the Lord. And strength to overcome in this hour. So without much waste of time. We are going to go into our service. Before we read the scriptures, I'm going to ask my brother to lead us in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Rebulele <laughs> We pray, Heavenly Father, inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit this morning, that you come, O Lord, and minister unto us, and minister to our hearts, O Lord, that we may be able to receive and understand your word in its entirety. We bless, O Lord, the, the ministering brother this morning. May you, O Lord, cover him with the Holy Spirit, that your word may come forth in a way that you want it to be. We bless this day and commit it to your hands. For your honor and glory, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So we're going to uh, read from our Bibles in the book of Matthew chapter 13 uh, from verse 36 uh, to verse 43 and that's where Jesus was explaining the parable of the wheat and the tears. Amen. Amen. So me and my brother will read a, a verse uh, as we interchange. You read the verse kau kau kawat kau kawalan. Amen. Verse thirty six. Temana masimu tarutila. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. Biale Jesu alaila na lema shaba abatu ai ai rai. Barutua bahawe bata we na bari retla tulele sesantso samu mifuka chimo He answered and said unto them he that soweth the good seed is the son of man Jesu afetula are mo biadi wape ke morwa motho The field is the world the good seed are the children of the kingdom but the tares are the children of the wicked one Chimo ke le fasi be o e botse ke bana ba mmusho wa magodimo meme foka the enemy that so soweth them is, is the devil the harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels and therefore the tares are gathered and burnt in the fire so shall it be at the end of this world the son of man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then 
Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Ke mo ba ba lokile go batlo go tsagabya le ka letjatsi ba le mmushong wa tatabo e ya nago le ditsebe tsa go kwa aagwe God bless you mo dimal so fatshe so we would like to take our text from the scripture we've read ya le rata o tsa tsi mana thero ya rena go tswa mo le ngwa le le ba dileng and our title will be the harvest ya le se tsoga sa rena e tla ba e puno so we will take it in portions re tla itse ka dikarolwana depend on how far the lord will lead us into the subject we ya lord na modimo re le tselela wa ya ka e motherong amen amen so we understand from what we've read ya le re kwisha go re o tswa mo se re se ba dileng that the harvest o re puno is the end of the world ke bofelo ya le ya mabaka now we know that harvest means the collection of the the matured seeds ya le retse ba gore puno ke go khobokana go khobokanjwa ga peo ye e godileng from the field o tswa go machimo now uh, so the end of the world ya le bofelo ya le fase Uh, speaks of uh, the reaping of a seed now if the end of the world is uh, it's it's the harvest time then the beginning of the world will be the planting of the seed Now when we read in scripture we find that our beginning is in the book of Genesis The very first verse that you read in Genesis 1 Timana ya mathomo ere ba la mo timeng ya 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 mathomo ya Genesis in the beginning e bolela gore go mathomo that was the plant, the planting season e be le nako ya go byala Amen. Amen. Now in the book of Genesis, ya le mo book ya Genesis, that's where we find a, an account, ya le ke mo re khwetsang audition of how things began. Gore e ya di lo gore na di thomile jwa. How our creation, how our, our world was formed. Le gore tlholo ya rena le fase ra rena di thomile jwa. The beginning of the earth, mo thomo nga le fase. The beginning of the visible universe as we know it. O thomeng ga bona ga lwa ya universe ka mogore tse ba nka go. The moon, the stars, the sun. Dina le di ngwe di le le tshatsi. And then coming down to planet earth. Go tla fa se mo planeting e ba re le pa. We see how God began. Re bone go re modimo thomile jwa. Life forms on earth. Eh le go thomego ya bophelo mo le fa se. The life of plants. Eh bophelo ya di mela. The life of eh marine marine life eh uh, bophelo ya di tlhapi eh uh, bed life eh uh, le bophelo ya di nonyane and human life le bophelo ya ba so that was the beginning so e be le mathomo now when we hear of the end ya le gere kwa ka bophelo we know that this the end re a tseba gore bophelo is the end of what began ke bophelo ya se se ile sa thoma in the book of genesis se se thomile mo bokeng ya genesis amen amen now we 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 understand from the book of matthew re a kwisisha gore go tswa mo bokeng ya matthew that just Out, out be outside of just the natural seeds as we know them plants and everything man is also a seed for the bible says here, the good seed that was planted in the parable Moses is the children of the kingdom so, so when we talking about the harvest we are we are focusing on the harvest of the human seed that's where our Our interest is today mo ke mo khatlo ya rena re le ngwana le khono so from the what we've read go tswa mo re se re se ba dileng we are made to understand re bontshwa go re kushishe that we as humans go re rena yo le ka batho today le khono we are a continuation re tshelo pele of what of what started in the book of genesis ya se o se le sa thoma go bokeng ya genesis our behavior my tsaro arena is a continuation so there's no one who's doing things just because they feel like they do they want to do this we are a lineage of something we are a kind of something for in the in the beginning god said let every seed bring forth of its own kind so when we check in scripture 
we can find a kind of everyone of us whether people are in the church whether they are not in the church when we go to the beginning we should find our kind amen, amen. so we have to believe that we are the continuation of what was started in the Bible. So we are not living outside of the Bible. When God speaks of the end of the world, it is the same world that we read about in the Bible. The, the same one that we live on. The same planet earth that we are on today is what the Bible says in the book of Genesis 1. And the earth was void and was without form. And there was darkness and the, uh, upon the face of the deep. It is the same planet where Adam was. The same planet where, where Abraham was. That is why when you go into a, a, a Archaeologists, uh, you will find places, you will still find a place which is marked as the Red Sea Crossing. Because when the children of Israel left Egypt uh, to the land of promise, they crossed the sea, the Red Sea. That is the same Red Sea that we have today. The, the river Euphrates that we find in the Bible is the same river that we have today. Amen. Amen. So we want to look at so it means for us to know what is to expect at the harvest. We need we, we have to look at the beginning to see what kind of crop. Yeah, that will be harvested in the in the, oh, in, the, in, the in, in the last days. So everything that we have today, so whether it be technology, technology, whether it be lifestyles, whether it be religion, human behavior, my twaro head. He had to have a beginning at some point. Amen. Amen. So as as Christians, we want to look at our kind and identify our place in the end time to see what God speaks of us in the end time. And when we go back to the book of Genesis, we find the first two uh, the first two people uh, Adam and Eve Adam and Eva they from, from the two the whole earth was populated Amen, Amen. so God said multiply so we are an offspring of Adam Every human being that's on earth is an offspring of Adam. But when you when you look at us today, you find so many types of people, many types of religions, many types of conduct and behavior. So we will have to go back to the beginning to understand who we are, who is our kind, and what God said about this kind. So what we see today, we see a matured seed uh, of what was planted in the beginning. And maybe uh, we will start in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 4. When, when the first two started multiplying, Amen. Amen. Uh, and the Bible reads as follows. And Adam knew his wife, Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. And Adam knew, his, he knew Eve, his wife, 
and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Yare Adama Ria Tibile Efamo Sadu Harawe, I Ima Abelera Kaine Are, Kiwoni Muna Kamoren. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Abuela Abelera Abele Manabo Abele Abamudishi Wadukuswani Kaine Abamulimi Wamashin. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought forth forth of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the, the and, and of the fed thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. If thou dost, okay. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule, o thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Amen. Amen. So we know in the book of Genesis that uh, the serpent came into the garden and it deceived the woman. And from there, the woman uh, conceived. We will come to that. Maybe they will read a verse later on that. Now, when the first time men wanted to worship, after they were cast out of the garden because of the sin they committed we find two people both of them having a desire to worship God what are we doing we are worshippers today we have got many churches each one has got their own doctrine and it can't just start out of nowhere. There must be a beginning. And since we are in the end of time, we have to know what crop, what seed are we. So there must be a kind of how we worship. And it all starts in the book of Genesis. So we find two boys coming to worship on the same altar. And each one offered a sacrifice unto the Lord. And when they offered their sacrifices, God received, accepted the, 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 the sacrifice of one and he rejected the other offering and that was the offering of Cain so from, from the very beginning we find two forms of worship that come before the altar with a desire to serve God 
But then we find one offering was, a, was accepted by God and the other was rejected. And hence today we can see all different forms of worship. And, and out of all these types of worship we are just a matured form of what was planted in the garden of Eden. But remember, we are not talking about a natural seed. We are talking about a spiritual seed. The natural seeds, remember, a man is spirit. Man in the Genesis chapter 1 Man was spirit first Before he became flesh In the book of Genesis chapter 2 So when you talk about the human seed We are not talking about the looks we are not talking about the form of a man what a person looks like that's not how you identify the two seeds as we read about in the book of Matthew chapter 13 these are spiritual seeds amen, amen. so and then every seed will bring forth of its own kind. Now, the Bible says, Then God came down and spoke to Cain and told him, This is not how I'm supposed to be worshipped. If you can do like your brother, then I will accept you. Right there, we find that there is a form. The two seeds of, of worship that started in the garden. And those seeds started from there. And then they've grown, they've matured until they become what we are today. So all worshippers come from either one of these two seeds. But now we have come to the harvest. So something that was in its infancy in the garden, in the book of Genesis, it has now come to maturity. And as much as God accepted one form of worship, which was offered by a certain type of seed, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ eh? talk about the separation when it comes to the end time. So we want to look at this form of worship. So there is a way in which men can worship and they are happy with the way they worship but that is not what God is going to accept. We find a man king very religious he wanted to worship God the same God that was worshipped by Abel he brought the sacrifice to the same God but he wanted to do it his own way and God being called the only way that he had to rebuke that man to correct that man was by his weight. He sent his weight. And Cain, when he heard that weight, that correction, that told him that the way you worship is not, uh, is not how I am supposed to be worshipped. God did not say Cain did not have a desire. God did not say uh, Cain did not build an altar. But what he offered on that altar is what God did not want. And if it started as a seed back then, 
it has to mature it's when it's a more color so yeah the contents of Cain fell. Yeah, let's fight your sir. Cain is still sa sawa. He was not willing. He was not happy. We be asa rati bila sa cha. To be corrected. We apostle by the weight of God. Kili chula muti. And if by just rejecting that 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 correction there, you are like oh no, Ghana apostle yela fale. He knew already. We be asa. That, that God was not going to accept him. So what did he do? The Bible says he talked to his brother. Uh, and he took him out to the field. And there he killed him. So he enticed him. So we see a spirit in worship. That is dedicated. Hard working. You want to serve God. Yet not in a way that God wants. And should they find somebody that God has accepted? They start hatred. Then they plan. They, they entice. They, 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 the men came, uh, came up with a plan to entice that brother of to his to kill him. Now, that spirit succeeded. Now, that spirit that spirit succeeded. Now, that spirit of a man that wanted to worship God not in a way that God wanted to worship and if there was another one who was there to worship God in the right way then the next move is to make a plan around how to, to, to find this man this, this true worshipper to kill him maybe I can go ahead of myself and show you that that's the same spirit that was in the priest's in the time, in the time of Jesus when Jesus came on the scene, he, 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 he went out to pray. They were praying in the temple. But then God honored the, the prayer of Jesus, where he confirmed him. The Bible says, a man that was a, 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 a vindicated by God with signs and wonders to prove that he accepted what Jesus was doing. And when the priest saw that and Jesus rebuked them with the weight they couldn't take that correction. So those men, when they identified a man that was accepted by God, they came up with a way of catching him and killing him. And it has not stopped. And I see he yeah. killed him. Then when you read your history, you find that. Uh, there was a, there's a time called the Dark Ages where the true Christians were, were, were persecuted. We can see the two spirits that started back in the garden. Back in the book of Genesis. They have started that way and then right in the end time we know the two spirits Jesus Christ in the book of set in the book of Matthew 24. The two spirits will be so close to one another. In the in the family of Adam. More family Adam. The two spirits that worshipped. Who were two brothers? Children of the same mother. Of course, they were not of the same father. As Jesus uh, said to the, the to the priest, you are of your own father. So we talk about the two genes. 
dikukwana che che pedi cha bophelo at the end time mo mafelo long ana amen amen so after and what, because the, that man uh, was a kind yale kabaka lor munna yo e bele wa mufuta what the bible calls the antichrist eh se bibili isi bitang molale christ many people think but shaba nchi bana kana ngo an antichrist eh molale christ is somebody ki mutho mo who's against uh, who is against church wo ya leng khatlalo le greek that is not so a go joale if you look from the beginning ho ka lebela o tloga mathomo the antichrist spirit moya wa mo le christ comes to church o tla greki comes to the altar o tla mo ale tare and call the the name of the same god wa wa bitsa lina la modimo ya swana and if that spirit realizes that god is not responding ge moya o o le mo gore modimo a arabe and it's god is responding to someone else lo gore modimo araba mo tshiyo mongwe that spirit moya o forms ways Of, of catching the, the the loved one of god to kill them amen amen right we see there's a spirit of a murderer when you read in the book of uh, let's read in the book of john john chapter 8 john chemaya siswai So any spirit today yale moyo mongolo mongwe le kono that will not take correction wo sa khone ngwe tsa phoshollo of the weight yale ntju and it resorts to killing and yeah yeah you came shit of wallahi is the spirit of Cain ki moya wa kaine the same spirit that was in the priests eh moya o swana ngo bo le mo ba routine so today when people want to know where the antichrist is you are looking for what what are those what antichrist moya wa bo antichrist o kai they shouldn't look outside of the church system about swana la o level like antle ga tshipidi sha di correct If you read your history, go by the history of how you will know what that say ba that the Christians were persecuted or ba Christ ba ile ba tlaishwa. Even in the book of Acts, le mo bukeng ya ditiro, Paul says, uh, Paul ore, uh, he he is he he was the one he kiena before he was converted, pele a a sokologa. He he is the one who went to arrest uh, 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 those that believed in Christ yena aben aya aswara bai bai ba u ba be ba ndimela mo Christ if you want to know ge ora ta o tseba who got Christ killed sorry who 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 got Christ to be killed oh ge ora ta o tseba re ke mang a ileng a dira gore Christ a bulawe it was not the soldiers e be se ma shole no Christ was handed to over to the soldiers e Christ we la tshishwa mo ba shole by the priests ka ki ki ba root so we see that the spirit that was in Cain yale re bona gore moya o bo le ka mo kaine with with time eh mo le na go ge sepela it grew we le wa hola to become a religious organization wa tla mo kholo ya o ba mkhatlo wa grek in the beginning ko ma tshomo it was in Cain o bo le ka mo kaine but in the time of jesus mo maramona ko ya jesus that spirit moya o that seed pe uye o had grew to become a religious sect ya go la ofitla e ba a sect ya 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 ba rapid and it if it moved from one seed came re to rile mo pe u eti ile kaine to become a religious sect today ofitla e ba mo khatlo wa kereke i mean sect in the time of jesus e o ba ile mo khatlo wa kereke kana kwa jesus then if we want to know where that spirit went to We must look in the religious organizations today. Lo swanjere le bele mo me khatlong ya dikereke le kholo. A spirit that will not take correction. Moya o sa khone mo tsi ya diphosholo. Ba still wants to save the self serve the same God. Me o me o rata o tswela pelo o tlhangela modimo ya swana. Who who already has said he doesn't want to accept it. Modimo ya a shetseng a boletse go ra rata o amogela moya o. So it's a worshiper ki ki mo rapedi a medara ke mlai a seat of the evil one ke pe ya yo mubi let's read in the book of john arbale mubi ke ya johani amen amen 
We're reading the book of John chapter 8. I'm just introducing a thought. So you can see the line of thinking. As we are starting our subject of the harvest. So it moved from a spirit one man. To become an organization. So an organization. Is a spirit that has formed itself that has divided itself into men that have got the common thinking. Amen. So Amen. let's read in the book of John. Then uh, we'll just go back now that we have. Maybe shown you the line of thinking so that we identify. So, our behavior today has got its beginning somewhere. Our attitude to Christ. Our attitude toward the way today. You, you hear when, when people are corrected. With the word of God, he said, "No, no, no, I won't take that." But no, 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 I will go and ask God myself. You can already see the nature of the spirit, where it comes from. When Judas was rebuked, Judas he wanted to take the correction. He continued on. Instead. In, uh, in he, he, is that he wanted to he wanted to sell the Lord? Uh, Amen. Amen. Now John chapter eight. Uh, and I'm going to read from verse twenty nine. Uh, and it reads as follows. Mm. And he sent. And he that sent me is with me, and the Father that the Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Romeana e and Timilero on Alena, that dear Aunt Tatechi Romanigira Sesimo Hatla. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Re Avalela di Tabache, Babanchi, Vanaba Mudume. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my way, then are ye my disciples indeed. That you want. Bona bajuta ba o ba bero ba mudumela Jesu obule chile bona are. Gele nama lelinchula ka le barutu wa baka ka gorereisha. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set shall make you free. La truth ba cherecho mi cherecho ya tole lokola. They answer him, We be Abraham's seed, and we never we and we are never in bondage to any man. How says thou ye shall be made free? Bafetula bare erenar banaba Abraham araisho rababa changa ba motlining o bolela byang ge gore letlolokollo. Jesus answered them verily verily I say unto you whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Jesu afetula are ruri ruri ke le botsa mang le mang ya dira go sebe ke motlhanga wa sona sebe. The servant abideth not in the house forever, but the servant, the son abideth forever. Motanga rome agasidulen tong boyawile wabudula boyo boyawile kemora. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Kirona remora ale local la kimole toro local la local sorry. Kirona remora ale local la kimole toro ba. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my weight, my weight hath no place in you. Kitsava Rele Levanaba Abraham, Fela Linsuma or Lempolae, or Vani Linchula Kali Shoka Mazeno Holin. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Na Kibola Seke Sibone Ro Otati, Melena. Amen. Amen. So again, we see that the, this spirit, the spirit of the devil, Satan. Maybe we let's read quickly. Let's read a verse, verse forty-four. Same chapter. 
uh, ye are of your father the devil and the last of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it amen tata we knew you only to go and na ki diabolo mele pegella go dira midiro ya yena tata we ni eo ki yena sinukwane go tloga mathomong o bane mo go yena therisho ga eo ge a bolela maka o bolela tsa gagwe o bane ki yena moaketsi le ra le ra go moaketsi amen amen so jesus ele jesus when 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 he looked at this priest as religious as they were they had something that was there in the beginning and he says to them if you, i can see that outwardly you are the seat of abraham you are israel amen amen but i see something in you Why do you want to kill me? Because it's because you, my word has no place in you. Just like Cain, when the word of God rebuked him, there was no place to receive that correction. Then he resorted to killing Abel. Amen. Amen. And Jesus says You are of your father the devil. For he is the murderer from the beginning. So when we go back to the book of Genesis, in the book of beginnings, the first murderer, the first murderer we find is the serpent. He is the one who brought death to, to Adam and Eve. And then from there, we find Cain and Jesus says you are of your father so, so the spirit of the devil is not afraid of church the, the spirit of the devil is not afraid of church positions we, we, we have men here that are priests that have got nothing to do with heaven So today people get confused by titles the title pastor so and so apostle so and so but if you check your bible it is not about the title i see a wee title ya mut jesus christ could see a devil right under that title you could see that spirit of murder right under that title you could see that spirit of murder right under that title you could see that spirit of murder right under that title And he told them you are a liar just like the devil is the, the father of liars he is the liar himself and he is the father of all of them that lie now we know that in the time of Jehoshaphat Uh, when they were supposed to go uh, uh, that man Ahab wanted to go to battle uh, there was a lying spirit the spirit of the devil that came down and it got a man killed so any doctrine that does not give life yes how do we get life The Bible says to know Christ John, John 17 verse 3 uh, Johannes 17 verse 3 to know Christ is life Any religion that projects something outside of Christ that produces a man to be honored above God My pastor says this My prophet says this and these people are not even vindicated by God we can see when the spirit comes amen amen the bible here is showing us the devil or satan is so smooth with his lying text so in the end time jesus even said 
Beware of false prophets. But our word today, when somebody says prophet, 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 just by saying prophet, they want to follow that man. But if you look at scripture, you will understand that the devil can use any title. And the devil uh, can take a man that has that has got no clue about spiritual things and make him make him a, a great man in church so that he can pull away many people into a wrong thing leading the whole group to death when you read in the book of John chapter 3 we find a man All right, let, 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 let's, let's read this So we, we find in the last days there are ignorant people but the Bible has warned us that in the, in the end time or at the harvest this thing shall be but we want to see what is this thing that is happening around the world if you look at the world today, people are dressing less and less, especially women. You take it back in the Bible, you will find it. The first two people that fell in the garden were Eden. When they did something wrong against the word of God, instead of them waiting for God and repenting so that they can tell God that in your absence uh, this is what we did we fell into sin no that's not the nature of, of a fallen man when they realize that they are in sin instead of repenting they started hiding that sin they made themselves a covering something they can get underneath so that when God comes he should not see their nakedness and when God came and said to them where are you Adam where are you he said I'm here uh, and I'm hiding what said why are you hiding he says because I, I realized that I was naked instead of him waiting in the open and so that God can find him in that condition and then he can tell, just tell God what he has done he goes into hiding he, he, and he wants he wants to correct his wrong with something as a man made something they put together some leaves just like we see today instead of people coming out in the open there are, there are many worshippers that know very well their lives are not right yet they are hiding under the name of a church I belong to such and such as if as if belonging to, to whatever church makes them righteous the problem is not the covering there the sin that is within and we see that same thing that was started by, with Adam it became a religion that's why church uniform started because there was no righteousness to cover there was, there was no righteousness to show the world 
So they had to find something that can associate with worship. Amen. But in trueness, you are a moderation. They know very well. But their lives are not right. And they are not ready for God. Maybe it's rough. But it's true. You cannot have a crop. If you cannot harvest if you've never planted. Oh, All forms of behavior, whether in religion, or in Christianity, or in just conduct, it has got a beginning in the book of Genesis. Amen. Amen. So, the devil is not afraid of church. The devil is not afraid of position. But the true seat of God, just like Abel, they take the correction of God. Now that we have shown the line of thinking, what we want to talk about, we may not finish the subject today. But I want us to look at this kind this thinking. Uh, maybe in scripture. Uh, let's look at uh, the book of Jude. Jude. Or Jude. Yeah. Alright. Uh, a book before the book of Revelation. Uh, Jude has got only one chapter. Jude has got only one chapter. Alright. And I want us to read verse 11. Who unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Korah. Koto, ito ba wela, kobane ba ile, katsela ya kaine, ba itacheche, ufora, kimupuso wa biliamu, Amen. Amen. Now, if you know your Bible, now if you would know that this man, they lived under different uh, dispensations. In their lifetime, there is no one who has seen the other. Cain, uh, you find him in the book of Genesis. He never got to see Kora. Kora. He never got to see Balaam. And then Balaam, Balaam uh, is a false prophet. prophet that stopped Israel. When they were coming out of Egypt. But when the, this, the people of when the, the nation of Israel came uh, to meet with this man Balaam. Kora was already dead. Kora uh, is the man who died in the wilderness. These are the men that formed a league uh, against Moses. He was one of the rulers. This Kora. Kora. He was one of the leaders of the tribes of, of Israel. Biliam, Biliam, he was a prophet, a false prophet. prophet and the Bible links all these men together because it's a lineage. The spirit that was in Cain of being a worshipper yet having a murderous spirit. A spirit that cannot take correction by the way. A spirit just wanted to occupy a position in the in in in, in church. That is the spirit of Balaam. This same Balaam, Balaam is one of the elders. He is one of those men. When God called Moses, and they realized that God is using Moses, and they couldn't answer the people. When people wanted to know where is Moses, instead of saying I don't know, 
They, they, decide, they had to form something. To hate that one. They just wanted to give an answer. So, uh, as of this Moses, we don't know what happened to him. All we know is that we need God to take us back. This is the spirit that will come into worship. And then Try to take people out of worship. Back into ancestral worship and things like that. Back into idols. That's the spirit of Balaam. He is the same one who set traps for the children of Israel. So that they should worship uh, Baal Peor. That's the same spirit that comes to churches and move people from the faith in God to make people believe in pastors and apostles and, and all sorts of things. It is the same spirit of Cain. But we will come and deal with these characters. Now, that, as we speak of these characters, you must look at the way you serve God and know who, who, who is your kind in the Bible and look at your church look at your family and see the spirit that is leading that family who in the Bible is is, is, is serving God the way you do. Amen. Amen. I said we will go back and maybe start looking at these characters to see how this spirit, this seed grew from Cain through the years until, come to the priests until we come to this time. Because that spirit was planted in Genesis. And today, it is still there in worship. All these men that we talk about are in the way of worship. Jacob and Esau. Esau was a worshiper. When the blessings of God was good to be given, he wanted that. Ishmael was a worshiper. He also wanted the blessings of God. Yet he was not part of what God was doing. And today, people are reckless. But um they just follow anything that is called church but if you knew the word of God your greatest danger is sitting in worship it's not outside there out there we know it's the devil so when you're out there there's no need there's no doubt you are well in the devil's hands. But people that start going to church, they relax. Just because uh, maybe a minister is, is reading from the Bible. But when you check your scriptures, it was the scribes that, that, that crucified Jesus. So sitting in church is not safe. But we're talking about the harvest. We want to look at the spirit and the people that followed all the spirits and what became of them. Amen. I, I, want, I want us to go back to the book of Genesis. Uh, and I want to read in the book of Genesis 9. So that you can see that same spirit. As, as it grew uh, somebody uh, who still wants to be called a Christian who still wants to be called a worshiper who still wants to be called a worshiper yet they, they are doing nothing Cain 
Kaine wanted to be a worshipper of God. Wile arata wa murapedi wa mudimo. But did not want the the, the correction of that God. Mara obya sarati phoshlo ya ena mudimo. Many people but so anchi sitting in Christianity. Ba dutimo bo Christian. In the message and outside of the message. Ka ramula e tsale ka ntla wona. Claiming Christianity. Ba tlima bona wa ba Christian. But their lives mara maphelo a bona are not lining up anywhere with the way. Ha ba peche ge le limtsu felo. But Should you tell them they are not believers? They will be very upset with you. They just want this for a covering. But Christianity is a life. Now I want to show the seeds. Where the spirit came from. And as we are looking at all this the characters see where your spirit came from and see if you are happy with what you are today if you are happy with what you are there's no wrong with that but if you feel that you are doing injustice to yourself by living the life you are living then you need to change it because you are not living after your own kind let's look in genesis chapter 9 and i want to read a verse 20 the same spirit the same conduct from Cain And I said this is not passed on naturally. Because it is out of Adam's family. That you have the two the two boys. It was in Isaac's family. The two sons of Isaac. That one of them was of the devil it was in the same church uh, the disciples the, the church of jesus where one was the son of god one was the son of petition it was in the same worship you, you look throughout time so you can't say i'm a pastor's son i'm a prophet's son that has got nothing so i say i'm an fellow to do with what we are talking about that is why when you read in the book of romans Paul says it's not in all israel that is israel it's not everything that says lord lord that is of the lord it has always been like that the tears uh, and the wheat le uh, Uh, wheat they drink from the same rain but that does not change them maraseo i see the petrol each one remains what it is the tears remains tears though it raises its hands the wheat the wheat remains as wheat though it raises its hands Lord for the rain so we have to look at what is going to be harvested and i'm going to take the last character now if you've been listening you, you will notice that all along i'm speaking of the root of denominationalism where this other type of worship came from worshiping god in a way that is not pleasing to god just using positions position to qualify yourself qualify it's a spirit I'm going to take the last character for today uh, for then uh, then we'll see what the Lord will help us do next time if they see the next time uh, in the book of uh, Genesis 9 and uh, I would like to read uh, verse 20 uh, and it reads as follows 
And Noah began to be a husband man and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and their faces were back. Okay, and, and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Up to verse 27. Yena are kanana kimuruhi kimuruhiwa utro ba mchanga wa changa baba na babo abusha are au tumi shemo na mudimu wa seme kanana utro ba mchanga wa bona mudimu a atishe ya fete adule misha shenga seme kanana abe mchanga wa bona amen amen now viale after the the days of the flood we come to a character here uh, by the name of uh, Ham Amen. Amen one of the sons of Noah the Bible says uh, one day Noah drank wine and then he undressed himself in the tent and then his youngest son Ham uh, saw his nakedness and went to tell his brothers now the reaction you can see that he, he, he said something because immediately after what he told them the Bible says they rose they didn't like what they had they, 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 they went uh, uh, and took uh, the Bible says they took uh, a cover yes a garment and they walked backward because they wanted to stop whatever that man was saying to them so they walked backward and they, they, covered, they covered the nakedness of their father and when he had come to his senses the Bible says they told him he knew what his son did to him you see that, that spirit in Cain Cain did not respect God as the father the father of all creation and then you, you see how he responded to God. Alright? Amen. Now look at this man. The same spirit that was on Cain was on this man. He was a worshipper. That is why he survived the flood. This man could have died in the flood if he was not a worshipper. But he came through the ark. But when life moved on, no, they, 
These are people that can do righteousness to a point. He can come to church uh, to the altar and even give his offering. He was not just there, you know, with his hands folded. Watching Abel as he worshipped. These are the people that will pay their tithe and offering. <laughs> but that does not change the nature of what we are. Amen. Amen. Now this man, he was not spiritual. All he knew was Noah was just a man. A father. He, 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 he saw Noah as his father. Yeah, a, a, a man that would maybe uh, bring food to the house. But he, he did not regard Noah as a servant of God. He did not see the grace uh, or he did not recognize the grace that God had put on that man to reveal to him the, the, the flood and also reveal to him uh, the way of escape. The Bible says that man found favor with with God. Here is Ham. Seeing uh, Noah just as an ordinary man. He was even able to make jokes out of that man. Making mockery out of that man. Disrespecting the anointing of God on that man. You can see the same spirit where people have got leaders disrespecting the favor of God that God has bestowed upon their leaders. Now look at what happens to this man. God was not happy with that man. And, and, and when that man realized what his son did to him, the, the anointing of God came down upon him. And he cast, he cast his own son. And that case stayed. It was on that man and his lineage for always. Because why? This is that spirit. You, you read the Bible in the book of Hebrews 13. Maybe we'll read that. Let's, let's read that in closing. These are people. Now you look at Korah. You look at Dathan. These are the men. That's all Moses. As an ordinary man. They would just make more career of him. And they wanted to equal themselves. With that anointed man of God. But when that man spoke, that case stayed on their lives. That spirit is not dead. We've got people today that don't know how to honor the servants of God. Now, get me right. When I'm talking about honoring the servants of God, I'm not talking about worshipping them. I'm talking about giving them the honor they deserve. No one was wrong. No one was wrong to be naked in the tent. I don't know whether the tent was open or not. Let, let's say no one was wrong. And sometimes God makes it such that maybe the weakness of a leader is so well displayed so that you can speak against that. In a mockery way. See, every wrong has to be corrected. But you have to correct in a very respectful way. Now look at Ham. 
Look at what happened to him. Lebela go rodrigileng ka yena. His his whole lineage le loko la gagwe ka mo. Became a lineage of seven. E bile e bile le loko la go hlanka. Because why? Ka baka la go reng. He failed to honor. Ka baka la ra a paletse go go tlompha the messenger for his day. E mo e mo hlanka wana go ya ga. He failed to honor the men that received the revelation of his day. O paletse go go tlompha monna yo a ileng a mogela khutlo yana go ya ga. Cain ya le ka ine failed to recognize the men with the revelation of the sacrifice we this day we la palela go lemoga monna wa ana le kutlo ya setlhabelo ka nako ya gana the pharisees ya le ba pharisee they failed to recognize the men who had the revelation of the sacrifice in their day ba ile ba palela go lemoga monna yo ana le kutlo ya setlhabelo ka nako ya gana and he said to them ya le we la re mo go bona if you don't believe that i'm he ge le sa dimelo re ke nna yena you shall die in your sin le tla kwa di binja lena amen amen I was going to read a verse kibeki lo bala tsimana eh i forgot what that verse was le bete gore verse la ba hebere amen o i the book of yes hebrews 13 verse 8 thank you my brother book ya ba hebere 13 eh just to show you the scripture now ono le bonitsa all these people that disrespect ba tshuba ka mo ka ba ba banya tsang Uh, they got their father bana leo tata go bona in the bible mo bebeleng and you must see what happened to their father and they were trying to bona gore o diregile mo ka ka bona then you will see their end me o tla bona mphelo she abo all these people but ba ka mo that cannot take correction ba ba sa gona go tsa go phoshollo by the word of god ka le ntjula modimo you know what started there re a tseba gore ke insa se thomile mo their father came u tata go bona ka ine and we know what's going to be their end re tseba ga botse gore phelo tsa bona ke ine he received a mark I know William Mangela Mark on his head most more thorn ya ga we hear about the mark of the beast re re kwa ka mark of the beast there's a system ona le tsipidisho and god is the same modimo isa le ya yo a swana god will never mark a people modimo ka skia ile a swa ya batho unless they've met the conditions to be marked mo o fitlela ba fitlela le yemo la go gona o marakiwa o ba o swaiwa amen amen hebrews 13 mo ba hebere gaolo ya lesometaro so today la lekono was just an introduction of a thought even know about the shapopolo matseno a yona i've just touched the surface ke no khwathile fela o ka mo godimo if we want to talk about worship today ge re rata o bolela ka borapedi le khono in its entirety mo botlalo ya yona we 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 have to look the resonator level as the system of the world ge le tsipidisho ya le fase how they worship god or na ba hlangela modimo so that we can identify or re khona o le moga lo bona who's kind they are gore ke ba mo futa ofe and we cannot justify uh, to have finished the subject re ka se ke ra feletsa khopolo ya rena until we show where the denominations come from o fitlela re bontsha gore di crack tsa maina di tswa di le ka whether they are of god mo tlhong gore ke e ka ba ile tsa modimo or not or aw because at the harvest ka ba ka la re ko puno e It is the harvesting of that which was planted. And anybody that is under a denomination must have a desire to know what is the beginning of this form of worship. Even everybody that is outside of denomination listening, they should have a desire to identify where their form of worship borapedi ya bona comes from bo tswa bole kae so that you know where your end is going to be o rogo no tse ba gore phelo tsa ga itlo ba e because this is the harvest ka ba ka la re ye ke puno and god is coming to harvest his seed and a modimo tla tlo buna peo ya ga amen amen hebrews chapter 13 by hebrew of holy house meter uh let's read verse 8 are bale te mana ya swine All right let's maybe uh, let's take it a uh, uh, verse before that uh, verse 7 uh, verse 7 remember them which have ruled over you who have spoken unto you the word of god whose faith follow uh, considering the end of their conversation jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever hopolam barut ba lena ba le ba amen hopolam barut ba lena ba ba le buditseng le ntshula modimo le bone phelo je ya tsela ya bona le etse bona ka tumelo Christ Jesus kwa mabani le le wa le khono mi e tlo ba yena wa neng le neng Says remember uh, remember them that have rule over you 
ere gopolang ba ba le buditseng o ba 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 le rutang yo rulers eh ba ba bushi ba le now this is not talking about your 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 kings yeah le mo are bolele ka ba goshi ba le that is this is talking to church yeah e bolela ka le kereke amen so amen. who who are the rulers in the church yeah le na ba bushi ki bo manga kereke amen the bible says look at them and as you as you follow them check the end what is it that they are trying to produce or all admonishing the church to honor those that have rule over them but on condition mara on they look if they follow it has to be Jesus Christ it's one it be Jesus Christ saying wamabane yesterday today forever wamabane lukhono lisha mihlesi nawo amen amen that is the condition to follow yeo ki le condition e swanje la tele not disrespect is being onyaja if you don't agree re o sa dumelane just don't stay o ska dula don't follow o ska la tele but don't this don't disrespect mara o sike wanyaja Amen. Amen. You can see the spirit uh, from the time of Genesis. Right up to our time. All right. I was going to read a scripture. Uh, uh, I think earlier on when we read in the book of uh, we talked about Nicodemus. Uh, if we didn't I, it was just in my thought. A ruler of the Jews. Uh, was he a king? No, he was not. He was a priest. Right? If you look in the book of uh, X. Uh, where, where Peter was saying uh, when he, when he told, talked uh, about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ he, he said to them I, I know that you were ignorant all the things that you did by crucifying our Lord it was because of your ignorance uh, with also your rulers did the same thing I was talking about their ministers in the book of Matthew 23 uh, Jesus Christ is also talking about rulers Jesus Christ that have taken over the seat of Moses uh, the oh, the Amen. Mm -hmm. so 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 we, there's, there's so much in religion but all that seed has become stronger remember uh, 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 and, and this spirit is a very very stubborn spirit so when you rebuke Cain Cain is not, is not a man that looks down when he's been rebuked no he looks God in the face and tells him off you see amen if you look at a uh, ham he was not a man that was looking down if you look at balam balam if you look at dathan if you look at Ju uh, judas judas these are not humble people but very very confidently wrong but baba teaching and they are not afraid to challenge Paul, Paul says this is their downfall the spirit that is in them because they are not they are not they are not low down they are not humble it makes them feel that they are right and, and when you look at the, 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 the righteous seat when they see your humility to them it's weakness they've got you now look at Moses when Korah and Dathan came against him the Bible says he, he, 
He was the most humble man on earth. Rebele rebele mutshwawi kokobetsa ga go le molfase. He never answered them. Asing ke aba fetole. He went to God. We la ya go modimo. He said God said bring them I want to show them. Eh we le o modimo modimo re ba tlishe ke nya ka hore re tle mo bona ga tjoo. That same spirit moya o swana where people can take rebuke. Mo ba tshwa sa gona go tsia o khalengelwa. He says go and tell that prophet of yours. Eh aba ba reng ya o botse mo prophet wa ha hao. If he comes here, ga ga tla fa. I'll tell him to his face. Ke tla mo tsa sa tlo nsa ga. If Jesus re Jesus ever ask me a question i kaba le ka mbotsisha ke tla mbotsisha mbotsisha why did you say this in matthew this and that o nka no bona tse ko matheo se le sela that is that nature of a spirit ke ke mohuta wa moya o that feel they can confront ba ba na gana ngore ba ka gona o eh a cheka in a very mockery and disrespect that is like ya go nyatsa le ka dikwero the anointed of the lord eh go batlo tsho ba morena the spirit Moya is here o gona fa much stronger than before o na le matla o feta peleng because this is harvest time ka ba tla re ye ke na go ya puno the spirit has matured e moya o tle mo kholong is is got muscles now o na le go ba jwane it can walk it can move o gona o sepela lo tshela peleng it's a sect is organized ke o ke mo khahlo But for today let's stop here. Yale a le kono a re tshomi a re ye memfa. Eh may the Lord bless you as as we pray. Mudima le sho fa tsheng dere sa rapela. Dear heavenly Father, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, once more oh Father, we like to thank you for the opportunity you have given us of oh my Father to come before your face almighty oh God and to hear correction. Amen. And to receive revelation Father so that we can see and we can be able to discern the spirit that is now working in us. Amen. and even around us so that we can identify whether we are of Christ or not almighty god we like to thank you for your word that is coming this hour the spirit of revelation so that we may come out of this blindness of laodicea almighty father yes, so that we may take your correction and accept to be rebuked by the father of all of our spirits thank you father as we have heard your word may we all look into our souls and our hearts and find if there's any place where we need to repent and it may be so father give us the grace to repent from all our of our our wrongs and our evil doings so father help us almighty father to stay focused and stay in your way all this we trust and believe in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen and amen, amen. god bless you saints amen